Hi, this is Toby from LiveTech Mobility. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about our latest model to hit the LiveTech range. It's our new smart chair recliner. So this chair is actually completely replacing our old uh, recliner chair. Uh, it's got a few more advantages of it. So it's got a slightly lower foot plate, it's got smaller folding dimensions, um, and it's a touch lighter, and it's got a new battery style. So your battery is slot down inside the frame. This chair is actually um, a kind of adaptation or modification of our smart chair range. So currently we've got the smart chair and we've got the smart chair XL and now this one adds the perfect trio making it smart chair recliner. So now you've got a little um, tab at the back and you can literally just recline your chair anything from 12 degrees all the way down to 30. However, if you are at 30, we would recommend getting a headrest. But what it does mean is it gives anyone that doesn't like sitting in a dead upright position, it gives you the chance to recline. So I know that's going to be really popular with a lot of our customers, especially anyone that's got back difficulties, neck problems, um, or even people that have ME and things like that, where they need to kind of conk out and just feel really relaxed. So this chair will work really well with a headrest as additional, or even leg rest for the full package. And it will also work really well as standard. So I'm just going to walk you around this chair. Um, you've got your 12 and a half inch rear wheels at the back, completely solid punch proof tyres, literally the best tyres you can buy anywhere in the world, nice and grippy, lot harder wearing, um, and uh, yeah, just made for more smooth rides really, no punctures anymore as well. So on this model, which is a massive upgrade, and to be honest this is the way our, all of our chairs are going to be going soon, we've got the 8 inch front wheels. So these are nice and wide, so I'll show you our standard 7 inch front wheel. You can kind of see the difference night and day. So the 7 inch one is a bit of a narrower track, uh, it's quite hard, uh, and this one's much wider, much firmer. So what these tyres actually do, they actually act like suspension on the chair. So whether you're going over undulated ground, um, rough surfaces, bumps, things like that, up and down drop curves, it's really going to make it 10 times easier, much smoother and much safer. Also when you've got canvas and your wheelchair is prone to moving around, the bigger wheels dig into the into the tarmac much more, holding you in a more safe and stable position. So basically, batteries are in the side. This is new, another new battery style. So rather than the key, it's just a twist. So you twist, and then you can pull the battery out. You can charge directly through the joystick when the joystick's attached, which will do uh, charge both batteries together. So whatever is in this battery rack, the chair will pick up and it will suck power from. So if you've only got one battery in the chair, it will suck power from the one battery. If you've got two in, it will suck power from both. So that means when you're charging through a joystick, it will charge both batteries. However, if you do want to charge your batteries off the chair, for example, if you're someone that likes to keep the chair in the boot of the car, or when you're on holiday, you want to charge your batteries off the chair in your hotel room, you've got a little portal in here which you can charge directly into. The new chargers on this chair as well, they, the exactly the same charger lead goes in the end of the joystick as it does in here. There's no more adaptations or adapters with it. It's literally one charger lead, uh, which is suitable for the joystick and the end of the battery. What you've also got on the end of this battery is you've actually got a USB port. So this isn't really to be used for charging your phone up on a regular basis. However, let's say your phone's run out of battery and you find yourself stuck in the middle of nowhere um, and you need to get home or call a taxi but your phone's run out of battery. As long as you've got your little USB lead, you can actually charge your phone up straight through this battery to make emergency calls and things like that. So not something you'd use every day, but it's quite a nice little touch just for as and when you need it. When you're inserting your battery back into the chair, just remember to make sure that you're nice and lined up and it's not just now a case of slamming it down. You need to turn this little tab anti-clockwise and press in and that will make the, uh, the battery go into the slot nicely. So we touched on this a little bit earlier. We've now got a slightly lower foot plate. Um, one of the issues with the old recliner was you had two foot plates, uh, one for children and small people and one for uh, adults and taller people. What we found is you couldn't really go past a six foot adult uh, because the foot plate was slightly too high. On this model you've got a slightly further back seating position with a lower foot plate. What that means is it will now cater for anyone between five foot and you know, six foot two very happily um, and you can go even a bit taller than that, however you would need a slightly higher cushion to stretch your legs out. Okay, so folding and unfolding of this chair. First off, you remove the cushion. So I always do everything from the side, because what we want to do is we want to be using these back wheels like a pivot. So if I push a little bit of pressure on here, because it's actually a self-closing chair. So when I do that, it locks itself into place. So first thing I do is press down on here, put a bit of pressure on the backrest so it's no longer catching on the clip. I'm now going to bring the chair up to a central position. What we're doing is we're bringing the gravity and the weight of the chair back. So now we can just bring our hands together nice and easy. The reverse process is 
Let's think of this chair in two separate halves. So the backrest is one half, and then the rest of the chair is the other half. Now this is your heavier half. So if we actually lean this forward, gravity is actually going to start undoing it. So all we do is give it a little helping hand, and the chair will now lock itself into place. So to fold it from the side, I mean, this isn't a strength thing, I'll literally do this now with my little fingers. So as long as you've got the gravity and stuff back, it's more technique. Another option you can do, and you have to stand nice and close so your thighs are touching, is if you just have an inverted grip and throw your hands forward, like a pram or push chair, it will then do itself. Okay, so lots of different ways of getting in and out of this chair. You can come, if you've got, and this won't suit everyone, but if you've got okay mobility, you can literally straddle the foot plate, because not all of our uh, customers need a wheelchair full time, some of it just get out of breath for, they need it for day trips. Find your armrests, sit down. If you've got reduced mobility or you need to literally back up into the chair, you can put the foot plate up. This means you can get right up to the chair, and I've not actually seen a wheelchair in the market that foot plate folds us up as flush as this, even for our own range. And the cushion is nice and high, so you've got that extra bit of space, so when you are actually sitting down, you can then easily part your legs and drop the foot plate down. A lot of our customers also like getting in from the side and things like that. Um, people tend to be, if they're a little bit more weighty or with some disabilities, like, like doing it this way. And also, it means that on the way out, what you can now do is you can actually use this armrest for a bit of added elevation. So a lot of our customers are either old or they've got very weak muscles in their legs. So a higher point of elevation means you can actually push yourself out of the chair far easier. Keeping the foot plate down, you can cleanly walk away. Obviously with the armrest coming up as well, it means you can now sit under a table for eating, drinking, working. I can put this in the free wheel mode now, and I can just push my partner or friend underneath the table. It also means that when your joystick's attached up here, you can technically electrically toggle them in, kind of in little bits under the table as well. It also even means that if you've got the joystick up here, and your partner or whoever's in the chair is having a funny five minutes or blacked out or whatever, you as a, uh, as a friend can actually control it from here with the joystick by holding onto the back and walking behind it and use it like a care pack. Especially if you're going up a big hill and you don't want to push the person that um, you know, is unable, unable to use the chair. Right, so let's just talk about the reclining, which is the whole reason people will be buying this chair. So at here, at the back here, if we just bring the camera in, slightly closer so we can see we've got so we've got two things we can do first of all we can loosen and tighten the straps up which will give us a further back or a more upright seating position but if we actually want to go recline you just pop onto this little pump trigger and it's a bit like a hydraulic pump really and we can literally wherever we're comfortable and wherever we want to end up we can just bring it and rest it wherever we're happy with and everyone's needs are going to be very different. I imagine even a lot of people will literally just be going around in that much for a client just because they don't like the upright seating position. So in regards to statistics for this chair, so it's half a kilo heavier than our standard smart chair or smart chair XLs. So we're now looking at 27.5 with batteries and we're looking at 24.5 without the batteries. Um, space on the seat is about 45 to 50 centimetres. Space between the armrests is 48. If we ever have customers uh, that are in between sizes, what we do, or a little bit larger for this, um, is we can do what's called adding spaces. So they're little inserts that go in just at the side of here. So the maximum we can have in width-wise between the armrests on this chair is 50. Um, it'll take up to about 150 kilograms. I think that's about 23 and a half stone, something like that. Um, and uh, very pretty liftable uh, for the average male. Um, if you were, if you are going to lift it, best way of doing it, and if you're lifting it horizontally, is tipping it on its side, grabbing from here, and as long as you can get it to here, you'd have the wheels in a uh, uh, free wheel mode, and you just roll it in uh, to the boot of the car. If you're with a partner or a friend, it's best to share the weight. I'd put one hand here, they'd put the other hand from the other side here. I'd put one hand here, they'd put the other hand here and then you can lift it very easily. And this is something that two females could do, two older people in their 80s could do, um, as long as they're half able-bodied. What we actually get for a lot of customers is when they're doing their two-man lifts, and it's usually the male customers who have had the stroke, or they've had um, you know, Parkinson's or something like that. They actually sit down on the boot of the car, their wife or partner will do a half a lift from this side and take about 70% of the weight. And even if they can just help out with their good hand, 
by lifting it just with the other hand, they can level the chair out and it makes such a difference having a bit of help. I'd say lifting it with two people is five times easier than lifting it with one person. Um, so the sort of person that's going to buy this um, is basically anyone that wants to be able to use the chair inside. I'd say this is a 60-40 split, 60 outside, 40 inside. So train types you can do um, rugged paths, grass, um, like woodland traps, as long as it's not too hardcore, um, around the park, around shopping centres and around curves and canvas on your, your average pavements on the way into the shops and things like that. If you are going to be using it from a home and flat to your local shopping centre, you will account or come up against uh, uneven pavements, drain pipes, canvas, potholes and breaks in the road where you've got roads where there's going to be curves and stuff like that. If you are one of those people that fit into that criteria, don't look at lightweight wheelchairs, they will not work for you. You need to go for one of the smart chair ranges. And something like this, uh, with the eight inch wheels, is going to suit you perfectly. It's going to be safe, um, it folds up small enough to go in any car boot, other than a mini and a pretty much a smart car, something like that. Um, but yeah, if you want a good all round wheelchair with the capabilities requiring, don't look any further, because this is the best of the best, to be honest. Um, and I think it's going to sell like hotcakes. This will be on our website from uh, July 2022 and uh, it will be coming in silver and black. So um, yeah, thank you very much and uh, see you on the next video.